looking to make some healthier habits this holiday season, make sure to check out our Moving Through Midlife community over on Facebook as we are doing a Planksgiving event where we are doing daily plank workouts. We will be doing an advent for healthy, happy hips this holiday season, and then also have a sugar challenge, a two-week sugar challenge that you might be interested in. Happy holidays! It is always my goal to help you and your family move more. So every Thursday, I am dropping a movement snack into your ears to help you and your family move more. It is our movement snack of the week. And this week, I want you to notice something in regards to your feet. So I was on episode 51 talking about the importance of our feet and exercising our feet. And I spoke about how our feet are a sensory organ. And I gave an example of my son and how there was a lack of communication to the brain when he had a certain type of shoe on for the very first time. I want you, because this week we spoke about camping, um, it just made me think of getting outdoors. And I had mentioned on a call that I was on about how our feet, when we are outside or when we are moving in a certain way, act differently when shoes are on and when shoes are off. So I wanted you to test this out for yourself so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So for some people, when they go out for a jog, if they've got tennis shoes on, they are more likely to go into a heel strike jogging run. So if you think, okay, I'm going to go out for a run, what might you do? You might hit that heel down first with shoes on. This will not happen when you take your shoes off. Your brain knows that it needs to protect the heel. The heel is not meant to be the first point of contact on a jog. So if you were to take your shoes off and you were to try to go for an easy jog, not even go very far, just go for a little jog in your living room you will notice that your foot does not heel strike. It goes midfoot strike. So that midfoot strike is a natural jogging pattern. When we go for a jog, we should be hitting down on that midfoot rather than the heel. And my movement snack today has, it's not so much about going out for a jog. It's just about paying attention to how your feet in shoes changes your proprioception and your movement. Not just how you feel in space, but your movement as a whole is going to change because of those shoes. And that example of you going for a jog is a quick way for you to assess that. Now, not everybody, like I said, is a heel striker when they're, when they jog, but I do believe most of us, if we were to put on tennis shoes, we would be able to emulate that. But then when you take off your tennis shoes, it's like your brain, your brain won't let your heel do that. So I just thought that was really interesting. And it kind of brings home my conversations in the past about our feet and how they are sensory organs. So this weekend, test that out and then also take some time I've spoken about this again in um, some of my grounding episodes, but get your feet out and moving without shoes on. I do have a whole course on this. If you're interested, um, let me know. If you enjoy learning or maybe you're dealing with some pain in your feet, I do also have some information. I have a whole webinar that I did where I spoke into working with the feet more for those who might have some heel pain, uh, bunions, any type of foot discomfort 
then I would recommend watching the video and then possibly looking into the footwork course that I offer. So that is your movement snack of the week. Head out to your backyard or on your camping trip and get those feet into nature a little bit more and test that out to see how your foot moves differently in a shoe and out of a shoe. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you could do me a favor, if you like what you hear, could you leave us a review or take a screenshot and share your favorite takeaway on social media? And make sure to tag us over at raising underscore healthy humans. Now go out and enjoy more movement throughout your day.